All right, good morning, everyone. I wanted to make this quick video on uh, what is a multiplier. So if you're watching my uh, trade reviews or if I put up another live stream recording, um, you might wonder, like, this guy says he's, like, looking for a multiplier. What, is that, what does that mean? Well, a multiplier is one of uh, Michael's or Inner Circle Traders' um, entry mechanisms, otherwise known as a premium discount array or PD array. He also calls them a multiplier, and that's kind of my, like, preferred term. Um, so, Michael has a lot of different concepts from daily profiles to timing to um, macros which go into timing, um, you know, watching your economic calendar. Uh, his sort of base, I guess, concepts is what he calls an airarchy. Airarchy, like hierarchy, but arrayarchy. Airarchy. Um, difficult word for me to say. Uh, but he also calls them multipliers and basically every trade um, needs a multiplier so you really only need one to to enter in on a swing and he has uh, numerous 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 but if you go from swing low if you go from a low to a high you will normally have multiple uh, multipliers that that allow you to, to enter on the way so for example if we take from low to high usually alright so if you want to get the absolute best entries but they're also going to be kind of the highest risk so to speak because um, you don't really know um, the first entries in a swing are going to be turtle soups meaning uh, you're basically just getting short or getting long above a prior high or below a prior low and that, that's a turtle soup entry. Now you can also get in above a prior high and below a uh, and below a prior low on the uh, advanced breaker theory multiplier. As you work through the swing um, you're going to work through a number of multipliers that allow you to enter. So the first would be, okay, you see that price makes a breakaway gap. That's a multiplier. You see price make institutional order flow entry drill. So one tick into a fair value gap. That's another multiplier. You see that price, um, this is arguably right there, that's a propulsion block because you have a bullish order block and then another bullish order block that trades into it. So you can go into block theory. Um, so like right there, that would be a propulsion block entry on this candle because it's uh, trading back into a bullish order block that traded into a bullish order block. So it's like looking, that would be a propulsion block entry. Um, and uh, so you, you, you could see that throughout a price swing there, and then of course there's also the classic, uh, you know, that's also a fair value gap. Uh, it could be an inverted fair value gap. If you learn so many of Michael's concepts, you'll end up having way more multipliers than you could ever need. Um, especially if you're tr trading singles like me, like you're literally trying to trade one contract. Um, you know, this looks like a very good swing initiation point for me. I don't think that price is going to make a new high from there. It's, a, it's the right time of the day. Uh, and it's, you know, all the all the kind of stars are aligning for that to be a very good entry. So as we work our way back down, what well, looks like it's going to be, unfortunately, a high resistance liquidity run, your first multiplier on this swing past the turtle soup is going to be just this SIBI right here. So that's a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency that you'll notice the closes are respecting. Okay, so that's kind of your first one of your first multipliers. Now, that is not the multiplier that I used. I was just blindly kind of guessing that, you know, the, these above this prior high, at some point, price should reject and turn back down because uh, it's already up. You know, it's it's kind of that liquidity signature would tell me that it's it was going to reject. So my multiplier was just the turtle soup, meaning I, I was just basically like, yo, there's a new high here. I'm going to wait to see when price looks like it's about to turn back down and I'm just going to call that a turtle soup. But uh, it's as we work our way down, you're going to see more examples of um, multipliers that are available. 
course, it's possible that we make a new high, um, and I get stopped out on this, but uh, it, I just wanted to give you a quick explanation of what a multiplier is, and yeah, it's basically a PD array, and there are way more than you could ever possibly need. So he doesn't really need to teach everything in his arsenal. You already have way more multipliers than you ever need. Um, you can't just, you know, it's not just about the multipliers. It's also about using all of the other contexts, like is it the right time of the day for Price to do what you think it should do? You know, are the stars aligning? All Is your analysis, are all the stars, all the factors aligning to suggest that your multiplier uh, is going to be a good entry, basically. So it's not just multipliers you need to look at. You also need to look at your time of the day, your weekly profiles, daily profiles, things like that. Um, and I would say that if you're looking to get the absolute best entries, um, three drives patterns, turtle soup patterns, advanced breaker block theory, which is getting you in on stops, basically getting you in on stops at the very start of a new swing, which is also going to be like your riskiest entries because you don't really, you're kind of just guessing where price is going to put in the high, but if it aligns with, if it aligns with the time of the day uh, and other factors like, then, you know, you, you increase your chances of that turtle soup, three drives, or breaker block theory entering in on stops. Um, you increase the likelihood that, that that is actually going to work. So, anyways, this has been an explanation of uh, what is an ICT multiplier. If you hear if you hear me use that term, yeah, it's the PD arrays, guys. That that's what it is. But I prefer the multiplier term. Bye.